one right here and then we kind of have a smaller feeder that they're starting up over there what we'll do is get up to here see where they're kind of ramping up on all muskrat houses there's like a ramp they're using to go up to the top drop stuff off eat on top of the house all that so get my stick in there so i don't lose it and i have my pack basket which makes this pretty easy if it goes in the water it don't matter and then i use just these little orange stakes which i spray paint orange so i remember where they are if i do lose them or if you're checking out at night it helps as well over here is the obvious sign of where they're kind of running up there's also a one on the opposite side. So we'll probably set two on this house. I'll set this one nice and deep. Basically what you're doing is you're just trying to hold them here until they dispatch in the water. Cause once they get caught, they're just gonna run off. You can use like number one coils, number one long springs, stuff like that, which I do have as well. Just a moment, I'm trying to keep the wind off of you guys. Make sure my hat doesn't blow off. This is the first day of deer season, so got my orange hat on so I don't get shot out here in the marsh. Which is public or it's private anyway, so it's not like they'll be out here doing any damage. So we have our 1.5 coil right here. It just it's nice to have that extra weight as It'll help dispatch them quicker compared to like a number one. So if I do have 1.5s that I can use for this, I do go ahead and use them. But if I have to, I'll use ones, especially in deeper water, they're just as useful. But since this is kind of shallower, I wanna make sure that they do get dispatched quickly since I don't want them to be moving around too much. And for this one, I don't really have a nice connection, so I'll just use this bit of wire here. We'll move our trap down to here. Try to keep looking at the camera, make sure it's still relevant for you guys. We'll go ahead. This is pretty sturdy cable for what it is. This is just what I got on hand. So what I'm gonna use for this, this is almost the time that muskrats are gonna be out and about. So I might even get one set off when we're still out here. These muskrats will walk or swim basically right up to you, look at you and be like, oh, it's a person and then run away. So we could have that happen. Let's get my knee up here so I can actually set this trap. This here. Get that down. Put that pan up. Nice little trap right there, ready to go. It's on our stick which is actually in a run. So I'll actually turn that sideways a little bit to give it a little better holding strength. Though it's not going anywhere. I'll actually move that stick out like where it's at. I'll move it up. Make sure it still gives enough line and boom. Muskrats are easy. They're going to go ahead, get stuck. They're going to be like, uh oh, run off, dispatch in the water. We'll go ahead and time lapse the rest of these since you guys don't need to be sitting here watching me put out four more of them. And yeah, if you guys have questions, let me know.
we're out here checking the muskrat traps on our way out since uh, I need to either set them off or I need to take them out since I won't be out here for a couple of days basically and it looks like we got one right here in that very first trap that we put out so just a nice size not too big you know just an average mill rat uh, we'll go ahead toss this buddy right up there for right now and with this I'll actually go ahead and reset it since it'll actually come out anyways making the executive call because that water is going down I don't have all the time in the world to get these sets and make connections so I need to do it while I can because that water is going down because that beaver is no longer going to be able to repair those brakes so we'll go ahead got that trap reset nothing fancy get this back in there so it's not going anywhere set this trap just like re before you'll go ahead get stuck just like that other one did so we got this nice rat right here. The other side doesn't have anything, I already checked it. We'll go ahead and move on to the next house, see if we got anything over there. So we're here at the next set for the muskrats. <clears throat> I don't see the actual trap anywhere. So we'll just cautiously pull this up. See if we got anything. Yep, much bigger rat. Toss him right up there. This wind blowing is nice because it keeps all these like biting flies out of here, but it kind of make it difficult because fighting against it the whole time. So we got the rat right there. Go ahead. and repeat hopefully get another yeah nice mature muskrat we'll go ahead and get him in the pack basket and keep moving we made it to the last muskrat trap here it looks like we got one in it this one I'll go ahead take out of the trap and then bring over to uh, Pack basket, and then we'll get off into the truck and we'll keep moving. What we're actually going to be doing today is some night setting for a trap. So it's not really night, um, it's just dark out. It's like six o'clock right now. So, what we'll actually be doing is mostly muskrat sets right now. I just have these two DPs out at this location anyways that I just unset for right now so I figure we might as well just toss some food out here it seems to be a really good location for producing so that one's all good we'll go ahead and get this one over here make sure it's still nice and tight not a problem. This one is actually a push or pull, so just a little different. Actually, don't remember leaving this trap here, but I guess we did. So just toss some of that. It's just some dog food mixed with bacon grease and cat food. We'll go over here to our last one. They've been out here for quite a while. It's, they're not getting harmed in any way, so. Private property, not having to worry about anything, makes this real easy. I'm in my waders right now, so. They actually have a, 
a um, couple magnets on it so it actually holds my setter where I just can toss it up it'll lock in and ready to roll so I'll go get the pack basket of muskrat traps and we'll go ahead and get those set along with the ones that are currently out there right now we're out here just gonna put a couple traps out before we go check those muskrat traps that we put out yesterday and we're at this stream we're gonna go ahead and set a dive proof on each side of it Just got finished setting the ones at this house. So we got one right there where they run up on the house. And then we have this one right over here that they actually run along. So both of these are deep enough water. This one I moved a bunch of muck all the way to make sure. So two sets on this house. I believe two sets. One set on the other house and then one on the other one. So we'll move on. I believe there's one over here at the peak and we'll put some sets out at that one and then we'll kind of see where we're at for that so we'll just keep going Put a trap on this side if I have an extra one we might go ahead and set a trap on the other side try to get a double off of this house but yeah we'll go ahead and do that and then tomorrow when we check hopefully we got them we'll go ahead now and go check the traps that we set out last night so we'll go ahead and go take a look at those so we got two out of the three dog crews here with a catch. So we got a raccoon in this one, nice size. He's been messing with that twig, so kind of keeps him from tearing up the trap too bad. And then right over here we have a possum. Not that big, but we'll go ahead and actually take him out as well. Since we'll go ahead and use him for his pelt and his skull, so. We'll go ahead and get these two dispatched and show you the after the fact. We made it out to one of the muskrat houses. So far we haven't gotten any. This one got chewed off. So we'll add a little bit extra line to make sure he gets down in there. He had a little bit of time, a little bit too much time. So we'll go ahead and get this reset here for us. We got a nice solid back foot catch there. And then he wasn't gone, so we went ahead and put a 110 over him. So he's well and truly out. We'll go ahead and reset this. We'll make sure that this is nice and deep for the next rat that comes along. It is a number one long spring, so he should have drowned, but he just had enough stuff to stand on that he was doing fine. So we'll go ahead and get this reset and keep moving on to the next one. We got our three catches here from this weekend. So we got the possum and then we got the muskrat right here. As you can see by his leg, actually, he got pretty close to 
getting free there, but we got to him in the nick of time. And then we got that raccoon. Hey guys, welcome back. We are out here checking the muskrat traps once again today. Froze up a little bit, but most of the houses are still open water around them. So it looks like at the first one, we got this nice looking rat right here. And then the other trap that was next to this one was just set off. So we'll go ahead and get these redone here. This looks like a pretty nice rat, you know, nothing too big, just average run of the mill. Go ahead, set them in our pack basket. I'm actually gonna move this over just a touch. Just so I know that they won't interfere with each other. We'll go ahead and reset this one and also the other one. And we'll move on to the next hut. All right guys, so we're at set number four. So the first set we checked, we got that average muskrat. Two sets, we didn't get anything sadly. And then this is the fourth set here. And we got another nice, let's see. Nice looking muskrat here. Got them in, I believe it's just a little single spring, yeah. Very good. Before we move on to the next set here, I just wanted to show you guys, this is the single spring that does not have a pan. <laughs> it's just this little nub right here that gets set off. So he stepped on it just right and got it perfect. So it just shows you that any trap can go ahead and catch a catch an animal as long as it's in the right place at the right time. So don't ever get discouraged if you don't have the best traps. So yeah, we'll go ahead, reset it just like it was before and move to the next one. We're out here checking the traps. Looks like we got a nice rat right here. Let's see, I don't wanna get my gloves all wet. He got caught in the old coil spring and got all tangled up. So, worked perfect. I'm just gonna move my gloves all the way so they don't get wet when I toss them in there. Yeah, right now it's warm enough and windy enough. It's at 35 degrees right now where the actual water isn't freezing on this pond so much which is very nice Let's see he really got tangled up in all this crud that's washing across the wind's been blowing all this stuff right across into the trap location so it really just kind of buggers it up And that was only a couple toe catch, so he couldn't have been alive in there too long or else he would have broken his way out. Nice looking average muskrat. Gonna be kind of typical of what we're gonna get in this location, but thankfully we are still catching them even though it is pretty out they're still moving which is perfect right now because once all this freezes up can't really use footholds anymore unless you put them inside the huts just get all that moved out of the way right here you can see they're running up to put more stuff on top of the house for winter and then there's also this little path that they use to go sit underneath for protection and also eat. What we're gonna do is go ahead and actually put this trap 
right at like the intersection of that. So we're gonna move some of this stuff all the way, make it nice and good for a trap. So right there, they're gonna run through, they're gonna get caught. If they come this way, they're gonna get caught. If they try going up the ramp, they're gonna get caught. So nice, easy set. One that you can check pretty easy. You don't need to tie it off to anything super big, like all I have is a stake. Been in the ground for a while. We'll push it down a little bit more. But I always try to move your stake, at least for me, I try to move it more towards deep water. That way it helps push them that way. Because you want them to go this way. You don't want them to just go sit back there. So yeah, we'll keep moving. Hopefully we got a couple more in the traps. This little bit of a warm spell that we're having hopefully drew them into running around a little bit more, more chances to catch them. So we'll keep moving on. Checking the next house. Looks like we got a average rat here just completely destroyed this area. <laughs> uh, to be expected from them. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, they're they're all moving around right now because they're in panic mode. The water's going down. They're like, oh geez, half of our huts are not even in the water anymore. We need to get moving. Rightly so, they do. So that's kind of what we're helping them out with. We need to catch as many as we can before ice because that's when a lot of them are going to die just because there's no water left. It's, this side might stay open with the runs, but the other march definitely won't. This one, depending on how cold it gets, it might. <laughs> Let's see here what we got. Do we got anything? We'll go ahead. Pull it up here. I just can't find it. We missed. We'll move on to the next for you guys. At the next hut here. So this is probably maybe 20 yards away. I can see fur floating right here. Means we got us something. Get this pulled up. Another average looking rat using a 1.5 on this one actually, so he went down for the count real quick. Good areas. You just need to know where to set, just set where it looks like they're coming up to put more stuff on the houses, or if they're setting under something. They set on down trees and stuff like that, real good places. You can also use 110s on these, put them slightly in the water with like a carrot on them, they'll get caught by that. Pretty easy to catch these guys. Looks like there's actually leeches in the water, so which is to be expected. This nasty stuff. We'll go ahead and get this reset for you guys. We got that trap put in the water there. Exactly where it was last time. Put on my gloves just to make sure I didn't get any leeches on me. Get those off of the trap. We'll go ahead and move. I did have a trap set back in that direction, but the water is so low back there now, I don't even think that they're using that hut anymore. So 
I actually moved it to a very large hut on a channel over here instead. So we'll actually go ahead and check that one at this next set here. Can already tell we have something because all of that damage over there. Obviously I didn't do that. There is something fighting that trap. Go ahead, take off the pack basket, grab our gloves out, move these gloves to the side. Today's turning out to be a pretty decent day, at least for rats. But this one, one set off trap, so it could have been five, but let's see where this thing is. And this guy was caught in that 1.5 coil as well. Really good traps if you have them and you're not using them for raccoons at the time. Really good rat sets. They just take them down real quick. I should wash this guy off a little bit. Yeah, decent looking rat. Get all the water off that we can. I always try to dry off your fur the best you can. I always put them in the back of my truck on the way home so they get air dried pretty well. Another average rat, you know. They call them at, they don't call them average for nothing, you know. You're gonna catch a lot of average looking rats just because that's what's around, you know. Hopefully we'll go ahead and actually catch a nice big one for you guys here sooner or later these traps with just because they're just so bulky this trap was just set right over there I'll actually go ahead now that I got leeches on my line I'm a lot more cautious I thought it might have killed them with that last cold spell, or at least put them into dormant status. Well, apparently not. This trap was just set right on this side. They just run right along, snap, get hit, go ahead and drown. We'll move on to the last set. I don't see any disturbance over there, so I don't have high hopes, but this weekend we'll actually go ahead and move a lot of the unproductive sets around. No point in having them in the same place if they're not going to connect. We're back at the truck here. Figured I'd show you the day's haul. We got the five muskrats today. Didn't have any DPs or anything like that out since I didn't, I wasn't checking them daily. So just had those set off. We'll go ahead and reset those for this weekend and then go from there but yeah five rats for two days for the traps that we had set out is pretty good i would say well mostly average rats this one's the biggest right here but yeah i would say that's pretty good i'm happy with that if you guys have any questions or any comments feel free to leave it down below as always let me know how your guys' season is going i really enjoy hearing about it what are you targeting the most how many have you gotten so far? Have you guys tried selling any for this year? Have you kind of any ideas of what you're getting? So I always love to hear that about you guys. As always, feel free to share this video, help us grow. But as always, thank you guys for watching.